we are discussing the solid liquid equilibrium let's assume we have a system which is completely is a closed system which means it's completely insulated and there is no exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings the temperature is 273 kelvin which is 0 degree celsius and the pressure is the atmospheric pressure which remains constant now with as long as there is no change in temperature the mass it is observed that the mass of solid or of ice equals to the mass of water. Okay, so which means that both these states are in equilibrium with each other. For example, let's assume that if the mass of solid was slightly higher in the beginning, what would have happened was we would have had the conversion of the water the, the ice to give us water till it reaches a stage where the masses of water and ice are equal to each other now this does not mean there is no conversion taking place remember this just means that the number of molecules or the number of liquid molecules that hit and get stuck to the solid is equal to the number of solid molecules which are moving away from the solid to form the liquid so there is an equal so there is an equal process of both or rather to better put it rate of melting will be equal to the rate of freezing so, melting is conversion of solid to liquid. So, the rate of melting, that is conversion of solid to liquid, is equal to the rate of freezing, which is the conversion of liquid to solid. And this is happening because the molecules from liquid are hitting the molecules of solid and they get stuck over there. Similarly, molecules of solid escape into the liquid phase or molecules of ice are basically escaping into the liquid phase. We can also write it as H2O in solid is in equilibrium H2O liquid. The one in bracket is the state of matter. Um, so it is observed, remember, if there is a change in temperature, what do you think will happen? Let's say I'm increasing the temperature. It will make sure that more amount of ice gets converted to water, which means the rate of melting will be higher than rate of freezing. So there is an, the equilibrium state is getting lost. Similarly, let's assume we are, we are decreasing the temperature. Let's say we're going lower, like minus 10 degrees Celsius. Then obviously the rate of freezing will be higher than the rate of melting. So that is why we're saying that temperature has to say constant and we're considering zero degrees Celsius because that's the freezing point of water. And the reason we call it the freezing point of water is because any pure substance at atmospheric pressure and temperature at which, so at atmospheric pressure, the temperature at which the solid and liquid phases are in equilibrium is called the normal melting point or normal freezing point. So here in this case, water and ice are in equilibrium with each other and the temperature at which that is 273 Kelvin at which both these states or both these phases are in equilibrium is called as the normal melting point or the normal freezing point. And from the above, we can basically figure out that both these processes, that is melting and freezing, is taking place simultaneously. And not just that, the rate at which both of these occur is equal. So the formation of ice is equal to the rate of formation of water. So basically, we are considering a solid liquid equilibrium. We're talking about ice and water. Ice is the solid state. Water is the liquid state. First of all, if there was a difference in masses of ice and water, they would reach equilibrium. And at equilibrium, the mass of ice is equal to the mass of water. This does not mean that there is no conversion of phases taking place. This just means that the number of molecules that get converted from liquid to the solid, that is when they hit the, they, the liquid molecules hit this place where there's ice, they get stuck over here. Not just that, some of the ice water molecules which are in ice will move away 
to the liquid. So there is an equal process of melting as well as freezing. Now the reason we are saying that the temperature is so important is because when you increase the temperature to let's say about 10 degrees Celsius plus 10 degrees Celsius, then the process of melting will be slightly higher than the process of freezing. However, when you decrease the temperature to minus 10 degrees Celsius, then the rate of freezing will be higher than the rate of melting. So our equilibrium is lost. So the equilibrium between the solid and the liquid can be shown as H2O solid equilibrium arrow H2O liquid. So any pure substance at atmospheric pressure, the temperature at which the solid and the liquid faces are at equilibrium is called as the normal melting point or the normal freezing point. And for water, the melting, that's why we consider 273 Kelvin. With that, we're done with solid liquid equilibrium. It's pretty simple. Uh, in the next video, we will be talking about liquid and gas equilibrium.